Every year, Champions League decides the champion and who the best club team is in Europe. But for years, people have asked, what would happen if we put all the teams in one league, the best teams from across the world, from across Europe into one league and had them compete? Who would ultimately win in a season style with all the best teams? And here we are ready to find out who the best team is in the Super League. Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of the Super League, where we take the best teams in the world, put them in one league, and see who ultimately comes out as the best team in the world. We're here in September. We're almost done with the season. Only six games remaining, but we'll finish out the month here. It will be two big ones, Man City and PSG. PSG, last time out. I mean, we came in, we made some different transfer offers, and then they came out and absolutely smoked us. So it'll be a good chance for revenge. We need to keep on winning because we need to stay in the playoff race to see if we can lift the trophy at the end of the season. So let's get into this one here against Man City. So we'll get into this one here against Man City. It will be the, kind of what's become the normal starting lineup. It will be Sessegnon, Maguire, the Lick, and Fernandez across the back with Paqueta, Castiglio, Nerez, and Zayek in Piatek Venner up front. So let's get into this one, see if we can grab a few points here that we desperately need. And we'll get this game underway. Oh, up the wing here to Fernandez. Can he get onto it? No, turned over. And they have a chance to come back in. Sane passes it off to De Bruyne. He gets into the box. A big shot, and Donnarumma makes the save. Oh, ball gets flicked over. It's Sterling. Dangerous into the box he goes. Tries to fight off. Good shot and right in front. Donnarumma can't get there. And Donnarumma makes a great save. Gets back in front and keeps the ball out of the back of the net. But, oh, ball rolls too long. It's going to go in. Sané finds the back of the net. And I don't know what it is, but every pass lately that we've rolled out in this game just seems to roll super long. It just seems like the, maybe the pitch is just... A little quick and everything just keeps going just out of the reach of our players just like that one there and we tried to get in there and break it up and can and it's one nil man city with all of the ball here i don't even think we've crossed midfield yet and it'll be one nil piatek goes up has the ball into timo timo in the box takes a shot and oh just sends it over the bar a good shot but just not on target Jesus gets the ball off. It's a big shot, and luckily Fernandez is there to get in the way of it, sends it out, and Man City, with all the pressure here on AC Milan, just trying to absorb it for now. Punched away by Donnarumma. He'll try and move it up quickly here. Has Timo. He gets wide now to Castiglio. He'll run onto the ball. Can't beat back by Kyle Walker and has to go off. Has a chance to pee attack, and it takes a smash right into the defender's feet. Timo with a big interception, has the ball, goes to Paqueta. Paqueta now holds up, goes in there for Piatek. Piatek holds the ball up and turns it right over. Sessegnon, though, big interception, gets it back. Paqueta tries to send it back, and it's turned over again. Oh, Jesus gets it behind De Bruyne, finds the back of the net. Of course, it's 2-0 right here at the end of the first half. We just needed to break it up one more time, but now it's 2-0 in Man City. I mean, this game should be 7-0. I mean, AC Milan getting torn apart. Just can't even string two passes together. And just unbelievably, just flicks it in. It's going to go past Donnarumma. We'll end that first half on that one. We'll get it rolling. Piatek just punches it in. And gives him the ball back, and it'll be 2-0. Maguire goes to Paqueta now. Goes out wide, has Fernandez. Drops it down into Neres. They're out of position. Finally, a good offensive opportunity right in front. We take a shot and find the back of the net. Bar down. Man City clawing back AC Milan here. Piatek with the goal. The, probably one of the only guys left from the starting 11 from the first day. Nerez picks him out right in the front, and he gets the shot off, beats the keeper, beats the defense, and we finally get a couple passes together. 1-0. 2-0. 
two, one. You get it. As the ball tries to get a pass and can't. Headed back, though, and Paquetta settles it down. Drives forward. Goes in. Has Venner. Venner. Zayek. Finds the back of the net. 2-2. Two, two. And AC Milan back on level terms here with Man City. As they draw one back and finally, just finally, able to get a couple passes together. It's been a tough road. I mean, it's been ugly that first half, but... A team talk there at the halftime. Some orange slices and the boys are ready to go. AC Milan... Level terms, 2-2 with Man City. Silva drops it into Sterling. He gets on the ball. We try to slow him up. Cross goes in. Fernandez easily handled. Can't get it clear, though. And another chance for Man City as they pass it around. They get in. Jesus has a chance to Mendy. Back in. Long shot, and Donnarumma gets a hand to it. Knocks it away for a corner. Maguire. Out to Sessignon, has the ball, goes into the middle, lays it there for Paqueta. Paqueta off to Piatek. Piatek looking for a pass, has Suso into the box, has to cut back as the pass is a little too long, tries to center it and can't. Fernandez moves it up to Delict, tries to push forward, tries to get going forward, has it off to Bonaventure. He gets a good pass here, Piatek. Holds up, goes to Bonaventure, it's knocked away, and we'll have to reset. And another chance here for AC Milan. Fernandez drops it down to Suso, goes back to Fernandez as they control here for the end of the game. Maguire gets it, and they blow full time. Just weren't able to get anything on the final buildup. And 10 minutes of brilliance saves AC Milan a point as they, I mean, just a poor, poor performance. I mean, just the passing was terrible, 78% passing, and, you know, the shooting wasn't there. We only had four, even though, I mean, we barely had any possession until the second half. We'll take a look at it. His narrative is an 8.3, Paqueta 7.2, Donnarumma in 8.0, Fernandez a 7.6, Delic 7.4, Harry Maguire 6.8, Sessignon 7.2, Suso a 5.9, Bonaventure 6.1, Colin Glue 6.0, Zayek an 8.0, Wenner, uh, Venner 7.9, Piatek 7.9, Castiglio 7.1, and that's how it's going. AC Milan, though, lucky, get a 2-2 draw. So we'll move on and try and bounce back here against PSG. It will be the same lineup. We'll roll it out there, just hoping for the team to gel together so you know, maybe the passing gets a little bit better and Hopefully we can keep some balls out of the back of the net, create some offense ourselves. But let's get into this one here against PSG. And we'll get this game underway. Neymar drives up here, beats Fernandez, Donnarumma out, and grabs it. Oh, shit. Neymar gets the interception, good pass in. Mba puts it into the side netting. Fernandez goes to Paqueta. Tries to fight off and can't. Loses the ball. It's Mbappe. Oh, and Cavani. They get back and a big breakup. Donnarumma gets down big. Makes the save. And Maguire knocks it out for a corner kick. And two big plays there for AC Milan. And they survive them here against PSG. Goes out wide. Now it's Castiglio on the ball. Tries to carry it forward. Tries to move it in. Has some space here. Now for AC Milan, they try to move it in. Has Neres, gets on the ball, gets a shot off, and puts it right on the keeper. Out for a corner kick. It will be a corner. Sends it into the middle. Gets up big, and no, knocked away. Another chance, though, as it's knocked down. And they have a chance to send it in. Knocked away again. Oh, they get in behind. Maguire tries to get back. Mbappe, a big takedown and breaks it up by Harry Maguire. Fernandez pushes forward, has Paqueta. Paqueta now on the ball. Can he get something out wide? Tries to find Sessignon and does. Tries to move it into the box. Castiglio on it. Pass in, can't get it. Shot off, no. Second shot, no. Buffon makes the save and goes out for another corner. Oh, big breakup by Timo. Goes wide to Fernandez. 
He'll move it up. Has a good pass into the middle. Goes in. Timo. Strike. Oh, off the crossbar. Build up here by PSG. Cavani on the ball. Tries to break it up there. Edge of the box. Neymar gets a pass. Fernandez is there. Right in front of him. Drives into the box still. And oh my, oh my God. Just Harry Maguire had the ball. I don't know if he tried to keep it in and avoid a corner, but it falls right back to Neymar, who gets it to Cavani and puts it in. 1-0. PSG take the lead and what's been an exciting offensive match for both teams, but PSG strike first, getting into the box. And right there, Harry Maguire had a chance to break it up and didn't. Finds it in the back of the net. Corner kick goes to the edge here. Oh, and they drive in quickly. Nicely broken up, and it's off and running for AC Milan as they carry it forward. Has a chance. Tries to get it long. Timo gets it behind him. Lays it there for Castiglio. Drives into the box. Cuts inside. Centers. Timo takes a shot and goes over the bar. Cavani gets it in. Long ball in to the edge of the box. They pass back and now look for a cross if they can find one. They get one in and nicely knocked away, but not cleared. Goes right back in, and Mbappe finds the ball. They drive in here. They try to find a long shot, and they pick it out. 2-0 PSG, and it's just been an unbelievably poor defensive year here for AC Milan. I mean, we just can't keep anyone from scoring. I Just no clean sheets at all. They find it here, 2-0. PSG on top. Paqueta through the middle. Goes up. Has a ball here to Timo. Moves it along to Castiglio. Tries to get in the box. Pulls the trigger and it's blocked away. Timo has a chance at cross goal. But nicely knocked away and goes out for a corner. Oh, Sessegnon a big break up and has the ball now. Moves it up here. Tries to get some offense going. Shoots it down the wing. Neres on to the ball. Cuts inside. Moves it in. Has a chance. Moves it across. No. Offsides. Moves it along to Paqueta as AC Milan try to get forward. They carry it forward here. Have a chance. Tries to go long and finds Piatek. He gets on the ball and carries it in. Looking for something right in the middle. Has a chance on the volley off the sidebar. Knocked away. Good pass off. Goes to Zayek. Gets the ball back. Has a chance. Through the middle. Into the box. Takes a shot. Oh, my Lord. Misses again. Timo just needing a GPS to find the back of the net. I mean, rushed by Gigi. And just sends it wide of the net. Sessegnon carries it up through the wing. Goes out wide. Castiglio is a little long, but he catches up to it and now has a chance. Gets to the edge of the box. Taken down and it will be a penalty here in the 66th minute. Comes in hard with a tackle. And it will be Castiglio with a chance to make the difference and get us on the scoreboard. But will we let Timo take it? No, we'll put Castiglio in there. He'll take a chance here and just try to get it into the back of the net if he can. And of course he's going to guess right. And it's knocked away and saved by PSG. In the middle has P or Paqueta, gets on Neres, lays it off there for Fernandez, pushing forward as AC Milan, drops it in, right in front, takes a shot, no, rebound, no one's there, and it's saved by the defense, knocked out for a corner. Corner here, it will be lined up for AC Milan, big header on Harry Maguire, crossbar, and it finally finds the back of the net, 2-1, AC Milan finally fight back and find one. I mean, we've done everything possible to try and find the back of the net, and they finally get it through. A big shot gets on the crossbar, and he follows it up, gets in front, and just off the defender's head into the back of the net. Two to one, AC Milan. Edge of the box here. PSG with a chance. Drive pass, and a big breakup. There by the defense. Neres will now shoot it up the wing. Has Castiglio and AC Milan with decent numbers. Try to get forward. Tries to move it through. Has a chance. Moves it into the box and just out of the reach of Timo. And cross goes in. Goes out. 
And that'll do it. Two to one PSG on top. And again, just an ugly game where, I mean, we turned it around. I mean, just can't keep possession. That's all it is. It is 44%. We had 16 shots, though, seven on target. And just couldn't find anything into the back of the next. Zayak an 8.2. Venner a 7.3. Piatek 6.9. Donnarumma 6.9. Fernandez 7.3. Delic 7.0. Harry Maguire 7.6. Sessegnon 7.6, Neres 6.9, Paqueta 6.1, Castiglio 7.2, and that'll do it as we fall 2-1. to one. So guys, that'll do it for us here in this one, and we see ourselves dropping more points and almost falling out of the playoff position. We are on 44, we have one month remaining, so... Four games left. That means 12 points could be the difference. If I mean, we need to get something turned around. I think that's all it is. We just need a little bit of momentum. It will be a big one in the next one, though. Atletico Madrid are right behind us, and we do take them on in the next game. So we'll see how it goes. If we can just maybe get a just a little momentum going forward and get this thing turned around, we should be good to go. We have the offense. We just need to shore up the defense somehow. But guys, that'll do it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.